16 carriages Climbing away like a summer sunset On a holy night On a long back road On a holy night On a long back road With my tears away To that summer sunset On that holy night On that long back road With my tears I cried Sixteen dollars Climbing away On a um num no um num no um num no Ooh <laughs> Sixteen carriages ho let's get into it oh my gosh Hello you guys welcome back to my channel Welcome back to my channel Today we are coming at you sorry I'm on my bed New scene new scene I decided I don't know I think I'm gonna do music reactions in my room because I just feel like it just gives more music ambiance I can change the vinyls up um, I have Cowboy Carter, the album that we're reviewing today. I have the album vinyl coming in tomorrow, so I got the red one, by the way. I'm here to react to the album. Um, I am ecstatic. I am so ecstatic. I'm so excited. I am just... <sighs> I'm excited, but I will say, when it comes to the country, so if you can't tell i'm a big lady gaga fan and she did a country album called joanne in 2016 and i love joanne i was there for joanne i have the cd i listen to it consistently but how can i say this i don't know it it just brings me back to a time that i just thought was in my past so, like, I was kind of slightly into a country scene. I've worked with so many people who listen to country music, so I'm, like, familiar with it. But, you know, my girl before Lady Gaga was Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana, who happens to be on this album. So, yeah. So, when it comes to country, I'm kind of just, like, I can could, I could really take it or leave it sometimes. I love some songs. Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton. Um, Casey Musgrove, um, so like I'm, 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 uh, I've, I've dabbled, so I'm just, uh, so the sounds to me, I'm very excited to see how Beyonce plays with it, but I just want y'all to know that beforehand, disclaimer, because I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not really an avid country listener, I really leave country to the country folk, I love to leave it to the people who like it, you know? So, but I love Beyonce, and I'm a music person, so I love Joanne. I'm going to give country, I'm always going to give country a shot. I'm always going to give country a shot. But, anyways, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. There are plenty of seats. Please sit down. My name's Sebastian. You can address me as Sir Virgo. It's a pleasure to have you. We do hauls. We do music reactions. I have a podcast. Um, This all. Uh, this channel is a lot of stuff, so please. And once you're finished with this one, and once you give it a like, and once you comment, and once you subscribe, go ahead and check out one of the other videos that I have on. They should be enough to satiate your need for me until the next time you see me live and in person. But yeah, let's get into Cowboy Carter. I've heard so many things. I've heard Post Malone is on it. I've heard Miley's on it. Dolly's on it. Ugh. We gonna have to. We getting it. into some things today. As you can see, I have my remnants of the Renaissance shirt. No visuals. And I pray this doesn't get visuals either. I swear to God, Beyonce, if you come up with some visuals for this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, y'all. Cowboy Carter. A 27 song album, by the way. 27 songs, you guys. 27 songs. And you know, ooh, thank God I cut these albums short because that's a lot. An hour and 18 minutes. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, Cowboy Carter, two years after Renaissance. We're moving on, act two. We're diving in. You guys ready? Let's go. Track one, American Requiem. A 
Okay. <sighs> In Act One, we started off with like a. I'm that girl, you know, it was a very like build up y song. And I guess American Requiem, we are starting with a sort of ballad. Let's first, because we're not all smart people, because we all didn't go to, or we all didn't finish college. Um, let's look up what Requiem means. So a Requiem, for those who don't know, including me, is especially in the Roman Catholic culture, um, girl, I grew up in that. A mass for the repose of the souls of the dead. A requiem was held for the queen, for the dead queen. Oh, okay. That was it used in a sentence. Or a musical composition setting parts of a requiem mass or similar characters. An act or token of remembrance. So... We are, I guess, we're America. We're remembering America. I hope. The, are there lyrics? I need to look. Okay, so I remember the first time I heard Renaissance, Beyonce, like. I don't know, she paint the sounds painted a scene for me. By I'm that girl and Cozy I already had like a vision, like a, a ballroom scene basically. This one is just giving me Arizona. She's giving me desert. She's giving me cowgirl. She's giving me um Wild Wild West right now. I love the guitar. The guitar is giving. Her voice is very um She's using her deep voice now. Like, she's using her low, lower register. Really like that. I really like that. Um, and I do like how it's, it's stripped back for Beyonce. She's not, she's not using as many vocals as she does most of the time. And I like that. That was Beyonce! Let me run that back. <laughs> vocals, vocals. I'm, you know what? I'm, we're not gonna talk during the songs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. album I can tell I can tell I can tell she had fun making this album this is something she wanted to do I don't know there is a freedom in her voice in this genre that she, I don't feel like she's ever done before in the other ones I, 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 She wrote that about the CMAs. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Because remember, that was a point that she specifically pointed out in the beginning. And this is the beginning of Cowboy Carter. There's a whole lot of people talking while I'm singing my song. While she was singing Daddy Lessons, get that bitch off the, get that black bitch off the stage, is what that black, is what that white bitch said. Apparently. Allegedly. Because I wasn't there. But it makes sense. It makes sense. If she says, if that ain't country, I don't know what is. Okay, 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 okay. We in it, we in it. We're in, we're in, we're in. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's get into the next one. Let's get into the next one. Blackbird. That was iconic. Hey, hey, Blackbird, Blackbird, 
Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were waiting for this moment to arrive. Ooh, I know the Beatles. Um, apparently, this was about... The Beatles wrote this about... Um, I forget her name. Brown. Her last name was Brown. And when she was living in Little Rock, and this was supposed to be like her, but they couldn't say Black Girl, so they said Blackbird. And they couldn't say Little Rock, so they said Dead at Night. So, let's see what Beyonce does with it. Because I already know she's using it. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. No, because let me tell you, I'm going to be really honest with you. A lot of the girls do not know this type of music. And uh, it's so interesting to see a lot of people be introduced to this kind of music. Because, girl, a lot of people didn't like to give the Beatles the respect. But let me tell you, I had a whole, like, I was living in the 70s, like, I don't know, for whatever reason, from, like, 2018, 2019, like, for me, those years felt like the 70s and the 80s, respectively, because, like, I was just such in a haze, and I was just, like, really deluding myself into believing that I was at the time, and, like, I, I tried to dress like it, I tried to give, like, the whole energy, it was, it was a, a crazy time for me, but... So, I had a whole Beatles phase. Even when I was a kid, my cousin introduced me to the Beatles because she had rock band. But it's just so... I love this. I just love the introductions of different genres with the albums that she's been co making recently. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, I would like to say quickly, I did say the features for this one. So, shout out to Tanner Adele, Britney Spencer, Tierra Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. Because that was cute. They did that. And I don't know what it is, but Beyonce's voice is like very... Hers was very front and present and very mature in the mix compared to the... Um, the girls in the last part but i liked it i enjoyed it um next one is 16 carriages third song wow crazy we're gonna hear it respectively in the album to see if it makes sense okay let me stand up for a second First of all, can I quick commentary, side note? Not really a side note, but kind of. So, in Cowboy Carter, the horse is white. But we're not going to say that about Beyonce. Like, and we see in Miss Renaissance, it was an electronic dance album, and the horse is very disco electronic. What is the next horse going to look like? Is it gonna be giving black for rock? Is it gonna be a red horse? Is she gonna do a rock? Like, cause honestly, like she used the cowboy hat in the last, well, yeah, she did. In this, in this um, album cover she did. So she kind of hinted at the cowboyness. I wonder if she also hinted at like some um, rock or something, but uh, the only thing I can see is curtains, so... <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Could you imagine if it's a jazz album, an opera album, something really out of pocket? I just have to say that. 16 Carriages, it makes sense so far, because so far the past three songs have been about, like... Um, it's been about struggle. It's been about, like... Um being through something. They're not fun songs. I mean, they're good. Yeah, I'm, yeah, they're not fun songs in the way that, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna dance to American Requiem, 
on the dance floor. You're not going to listen to Blackbird on the dance floor, you know what I mean? You're not going to listen to 16 Carriages on the dance floor. It, it's very, like, solitude consolidating. So, let's see what Protector's about. That's the next track. Protector featuring... <gasps> Rumi Carter, I'm sick. What if you lose your way? Wanna be a protector? LMAO, Rumi came in and out of that feature, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I love, it's just, it's a very mature album. Oh my God. I don't know. It's kind of scaring me, the way this is sounding. What the fuck is Act 3 gonna sound like? Are you about to give it, she's about to retire? Like, I don't know, like, these songs just feel very, you know, like, let me just, uh, what's the word, like, like, last hurrah, almost, like, let's go out with a bang, let me not say that, let me not say that, let me not say that, but I don't know, like, this, they're just, it's just giving me very finalizing, Finishing up. Okay. 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 <sighs> Next song is My Rose. Let's get into it. How many times have you let yourself get you down? There she goes with the vocals. Stacking. Oh, thank you. Quick. Vocals stacked. Beautiful. I love the harmonies though. They worked. They worked. Okay, this is Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Okay, Beyonce. Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson. Willie fucking Nelson. I'm fucking sick. Willie Nelson and Beyonce. I'm fucking sick. I would love to have seen what that room looked like if they actually, like, recorded it together. But, ooh. Ooh. Beyonce. Telephone part two, please. <laughs> please, Beyonce. Telephone part two. Make it happen. <laughs> I beg you. I beg you. Okay. Let's get into it. Smoke hour with Billy fucking Nelson. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome to the Smoke Hour on KNTRY Radio Texas. Thank you. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> so in Renaissance it was KNTY news. Kanti News. Now it's K N T R Y Radio. Country Radio. What's the next one? What's the next one, you guys? Come on, we gotta be about it. We gotta be about it. We gotta think. We gotta think. We gotta think. What could the next one be? Kanti Country. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it later. I'll think about it later. Uh, but this is Texas. Hold on. That makes all oh, that. I like that transition. I like that interlude. I love that interlude. I don't know. It, hmm. I'm thinking that this is almost like acts. Mini acts. Like my rose was the end of act one. And now this is like the next act of the next chapter basically. 
Ooh, I'm bot. Ooh. Find yourself a radio. And then Texas Hold'em plays. I love Texas Hold on. I love it. I'm sorry, 16 carriages cannot compete. No shade, no shade. I love 16 carriages, but Texas Hold on. Ah, it just makes you feel good. Okay. Ooh, that was good. That was good. Okay, the next song is Bodyguard. Let's get into it. I love how it gives Wild Wild Best Vibes. I don't know that one. I don't know why, but like I could just see Lana on it. Like, like Lana in the old days. Like, it was giving me like something like, if y'all heard Lana Del Rey's um, Queen of the Gas Station, like, it's like almost like in the same universe. Like, that's Queen of the Gas Station's neighbor. Like, <laughs> but the next song is Dolly P. Dolly Parton. There's Dolly Parton herself. I'm gonna hear that again. I'm gonna listen to that one more time. Just because. Oh my gosh. Becky with the good hair. Flaming locks of auburn hair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. When I heard Beyonce was doing country and I heard that she loved like Dolly Parton, I was like. Imagine if Dolly's on the album, because no shade, Beyonce loves the sample. Beyonce loves the sample. She can't not dip into country and not do Jolene. So I was just like, imagine if Dolly's on the album. Imagine if Dolly's on the album. Imagine if Jolene's on the album. Let me tell you, me and Beyonce, we are Virgos. We see each other. That's my big sister. I don't think you guys know this, but that's Big Sis B. I have a connection to her that y'all will never understand. Like, no shade. Like, it's, it's just that simple. It's really just that simple. And so, when I just knew, I just knew when she was doing a country album, she was like, she's gonna have to do something with Jolene because Jolene, like, Jolene is literally Becky with the good hair. But, oh my gosh. I actually, I actually predicted this. I actually predicted this. I can see the future, you guys. I don't know if you see it. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, it's a third eye right here. It's a third eye that goes. And then I get a glimpse of the future in my dreams, and then I tell y'all about it. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's get into Jolene. Let's get into Jolene. Let's get into Jolene. <laughs> Let's get into Jolene. Uh, uh, uh. This is the song that I claim. This is the song that I claim. This is the song that I claim. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm fucking sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm actually sick. Hold up, you guys. So imagine. Okay. 
So we all know Jay Z cheated. The person who he cheated with know who they are. Hopefully they're still alive. I don't know. And just imagine you got to go through all that shit in 2016 with Becky with the gray hair and stuff like that. And you just just for her to come back and grab you by the edges like, bitch, I'm not done talking about you. I'm warning you, don't take <laughs> don't come for my man. Like, I'm sick. <laughs> Bitch said she was just finished putting back her fucking wig, got her legs front done perfect, just for Beyonce to go, ah! <laughs> she said, you want no smoke, bitch? Fucking, don't fucking play me, bitch. I'll come for you, bitch. Say something else, bitch. This would have been hilarious if Beyonce had this in the vault. Like, this is what she, something that she was working on back in Lemonade, because this is... It's... It, it's... It's just... It just makes you... Like, we're back in Lemonade? Like, <laughs> that's, a, that's what I feel like. We're back in the Lemonade <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love it. 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 <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he said, I'm a crazy Cajun bitch or a crazy Creole bitch from Louisiana. I'm fucking sick. Beyonce gonna do she gonna stick beside him she gonna stick beside him <laughs> she gonna stick beside him good song I love the added bridge cause if you don't know the regular song it's Jolene chorus Jolene chorus and then um, uh, Dolly goes on and harmonizes it she goes Jolene Jolene and then that's the end of the song so Beyonce added her own bridge, very nice, very cool, makes the song original. Um, she was already using her own lyrics, very good, very nice twist, very nice spin. But oh my gosh, that is, I, I just felt like we were way back in the Lemonade era, like Bonnie and Clyde, huh? Bonnie and Clyde, like, next song is Daughter, Daughter, that's my daughter, that's my daughter. So it wasn't on the next album, it was on this album. Bitches doing opera. Did I not tell you? I know my sister. I know my sister. I know my sister. I know my sister. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I have to say. I've already proved it. You've seen it on camera. You, I have it recorded. I literally have it recorded. <laughs> like, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing, bitch. I'm fucking sick. She's doing opera. She's doing opera. Okay. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. She used opera. Like, it's... It's a nice genre blending album, of course. Like she said, she was gonna bend the genres. It's not pure country. Like, this is this is art. This is art. Okay, the next song is Spaghetti. I, I hope it's a bop. I think, I, I feel like it's, eh. you can't have a song called Spaghetti and not be a bop. If it's a ballad, oh my gosh.
I'm fucking sick. I claim spaghetti. I claim spaghetti. I have a tweet and I'll post it here, bitch. I claim spaghetti. I claim spaghetti. It's already a beat. It's already a bop. I claimed it. It was a bop. It was a bop. It was a bop. Cute, sort of simple, nice. I like it. Apparently she got shooters. Mm. Okay. Next one. Alligator Tears. Let's get into it. Shout out to Beyonce, Linda Martell, and Shabuzi for the spaghetti though, because that's a bop. I didn't say them in the last one or when I introduced it, but the next one is Alligator Tears. Beyonce, she will not. Beyonce, she will not stop layering her voice. She will always lay her voice. I love that about her. Calling this a Beyonce album was a perfect description because, like, this is just so genre blendy. Okay, next one is Smoke Hour 2 with Willie Nelson again. He's coming back. Sometimes you don't know what you like and you're someone you trust. Turns you on to some real good shit. Next on the smoke hour is Just for Fun by Beyonce. Oh my god. This is a fucking playlist. This is some type of like... This is really an act. Like... This is a play. Like musically she's putting on a play. Like, now we're in a new chapter. Now she's like, up next is Just For Fun. And now we're getting into Just For Fun. And this is going to be a different sounding thing from the last things that we've heard. Because he said she's going to want to put us on. She's about to put us on. Okay, let's hear it. Just For Fun with Willie Jones. Let's go. Nice little different pace. See, it was an interlude. Nice change. I liked it. Willie Jones was nice. It was very. I was like at the side uh, at the beginning. I was like, oh. At first, I was like, oh my gosh, she's about to quit on us. Like, but now, nah, girl, we still got some ways to go. Let's see what what track do we what track are we on at this point? Sixteen. We're on track sixteen. Second, two's most wanted. Beyonce and Miley fucking Cyrus. Miley fucking Cyrus. Hannah Montana herself. The legend herself. The icon. Let me stand up for this. Hold up. The icon herself. The legend herself. Miss Miley Cyrus. Miss Miley fucking Cyrus. Put some respect on her fucking goddamn name. Oh my fucking God. Y'all need to go back and listen to Plastic Hearts because y'all gave that album dust. And that album was iconic. Okay, oh my gosh. This makes so much sense because if you didn't know, Hannah Montana was very country. Yes, I mean, Hannah Montana was my original queen. So when I tell you I know country a little bit, I know country a little bit. Like, like come on. Hannah Montana was that girl. And now we have her with Beyonce. Miley Cyrus and Beyonce have a song together. I pray one day she gives Ariana Grande the same gift. I pray, I pray. And at that point, no, she needs to give it to Florence. She needs to give it to both of them. At that point, all of my artists will have worked with each other in some way, shape, or form, and I will have been completed my infinity stones. Please, let's get it. Oh my gosh. Ah, all right, I'm so excited. Okay, second most wanted. Two's most wanted. I don't know how I say it. Okay, let's get into it. They have a fucking duet together. I'm sick. 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 
Oh, this album's eating. She's eating. She's eating. She's eating that fucking spaghetti in my fucking face. Oh my god. I'm not thinking about it. Did Beyonce and Miley Cyrus hang out at the Grammys? They seem to have missed each other, huh? They seem to have missed each other because maybe Miley Cyrus couldn't... Ex she probably couldn't hide it. Her face probably was too ecstatic to see Beyonce because she knew that they both chewed on this duet. Perfect, perfect person to have a duet with. Perfect song to have a duet on. Makes sense. It was everything. It was giving. 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 I was expecting a little bit more, I don't know why, a little bit more upbeat, up punk, but I'm happy with this. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so the next one is Levi's jeans with Post Malone. Post Malone. If you told me Beyonce and Post Malone were gonna have a song together in 2016, I would have laughed in your face. In your fucking face. Like what? But Post Malone, like his like his I don't know, his music has gotten better. I think he's like gotten better at expressing himself naturally and his energy just seems more fun now, so and free. So let's see what the energy is on this one. Levi's jeans. Let's get into it. This definitely sounds like Post Malone. She made Post Malone clean his voice up because he sounds so different. I like it. He can sing. Okay, I like that one. Post Malone. Obviously, I don't know, it was just gonna sound happy because Post Malone just sounds happy. His music is very happy and upbeat. Um, the the duet was very nice. It was very cool. Um, I don't know, like, the placement of it right after Most Wanted, I'm like, dang, like, that's such a shift. Like, it's almost like a night and day experience. But I liked it. I liked it. This album so far... No complaints. I can't really say anything because it's so it's such a different genre blend that it's like that's all you can say. It's so good. It's different. It's good. I love the new artists that I'm seeing on this. I don't know a lot of these people, but I like it. Okay, the next song is Flamenco. <laughs> Okay, nice move transition or not transition but like nice song to I feel like end this chapter because the next one is an interlude because it's only 28 seconds the Linda Martell show um it's calm that one was calm that one was calm the Linda Martell show 28 seconds Beyonce Linda Martell let's get into it I love these little interludes like it's really a play it's really an act too like okay let's hear Yaya apparently it's supposed to be a different genre kind of song let's see what it is let's see what it's given That's my song. I claimed it. That's my song. I love Yaya. 
Yeah, 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 yeah
I like Tyrant. Tyrant was nice. Tyrant was fun. Like, uh, she did that one. I like the harmonies. I'm pretty sure there were some people that weren't Beyonce in the harmonies, but maybe that was Beyonce in like altered state because I wouldn't be surprised. But I like that one. That one was good. That one was good. I will say, yeah, Beyonce, it's a good thing you didn't say this was a country album because let me tell you, the Grammys is not going to consider this a country album. I'll tell you that right now. The Grammys are not going to consider this a country album. There's too much hip-hop. I have a problem with it. I still think it's a country have a country influence album, a very country-based album, but they're not going to think of it like that. I, ooh, ooh. But I love it. That's one of my favorite songs. Okay, next song is Sweet Honey Buckling and Shibu. Sweet Star Honey Buckin'. And Shibusi is back. Shibusi is back for the final, the final feature on the album. So let's see how she's about to, second to last song. So let's see how she's closing this. Okay, you know what I just clocked? I just clocked it, clocked this T. Clock this T, clock this T. Renaissance, second to last song. Pure Honey. Cowboy Carter, second to last song. Sweet Honey. Renaissance, act three. Something else to do with Honey on the second to last song. Ooh, maybe, we'll see. Okay, Sweet Honey Buckin. It's a very boom, 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 boom. Very much twerk, it's very much twerk. Let's get into it. The end of this album is my favorite section. It's so good. It's so good. River Dance, Two Hands to Heaven, Tyrant, Sweet Honey Bucket. My favorite section. This is my favorite section. My favorite section of the album. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is going great. Sweet Honey Bucket. I think the sweet part was the beginning. There was like a nice honey middle. Bucking at the end, good. Almost like it's formatted almost the same way Pure Honey is. Ooh, 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 love it, love it. Okay, this is the closer, the final song to act two of Cowboy Carter. We'll probably see Beyonce soon. We'll probably see Beyonce far. She might go on tour for this. I'm pretty sure she is. If she is, I have to go just to hear Sweet Honey Bucking, Bucking. Bucky, like a mechanical bull. Hey! Okay. Okay, let's hear the closer. Amen. Amen. Church. Let's hear it. Like, she's closing it out, y'all. Let's hear it. Final song. Cowboy Carter. Amen. Let's get into it. Like the chords already. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. I'm sick. Okay. 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 Listening to it as a whole, getting the album, feeling like it's a story from beginning to end, I feel like 
with it kind of ending with a bit of American Requiem is kind of like bringing us full circle to the beginning, which is almost like a, a reminder. Like the beginning one was like almost like the CMAs. It was almost like a song like, okay, like I am doing my thing and y'all are just talking. Y'all are just saying your stuff. You guys are not letting me do my thing. And I can do whatever I want to be. I can be whoever I want to be. The idea of a cowboy almost is almost like, a, I don't want to say an outlaw because they're always sometimes most likely the good guys compared to the villains but like cowboys are usually like the sheriffs and like the people who are like rebellious and the people who kind of like are um they stand out from the crowd essentially and so like this whole album being like uh yeah i'm gonna be my thing i'm gonna be a cowboy i would just yippee kaye like a mechanical bull all over whatever songs i want to do whatever beats i want to do whatever way i want to do it and i'm still gonna be great in it and so like her having a lot of the artists that I don't know, I don't want to say new artists, but a lot of new artists that she introduced me to. Let me get comfortable. A lot of artists that she introduced me to. It was very interesting um, to see how she played with country. It was very interesting to see how she blended it with the genres that she's used to. It was very interesting to see how she used her voice. It was very interesting to see who she collaborated with on this album. Because like collaborations, they all were perfectly placed. They were all perfectly put and they're all perfectly good. And that's what I love about this album. It makes sense. And especially if we consider it like an act, like how I felt like in the beginning, it does tell you the story of like, hey, this is what I've been through. Like, you don't know me, you don't know what I've been through. I am, I can think about the same things. I can be the same person. I can give you the same energy in whatever genre. And so that's what I like about thinking about this in like different acts on this album because it's a 27 song album. Okay, this and then Beyonce, we all know she's meticulous. She's very discerning with her stuff. Like she's it's just not she just not releasing songs for fun. Like they're per they're purposely put in place. So thinking about it like that, I just wouldn't I think about it they're more like acts, they're more like mini sections because they almost like every couple of songs or every couple of interludes like the the vibe changes the story changes the feelings change and you really can catch that you really can catch it so like i said act three in this album the third last part was my favorite part because it just it was more like she was just more having more fun with it and it was just turning more into like yeah this is me this is who i am at the roots still even though she does country like this is who she is and then she brings it back with Amen, and she's just like, yeah, amen to that. I did that. And you guys can say whatever you can say, but I can do country. That's basically what she's saying. Like, that's how I see it. That's how I interpret this album. All in all, it was a good album. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, well, I just noticed something really quickly. Almost all the eyes in this album have two eyes in them. Iconic, act two renaissance we love it i can't wait to see what act three is about i really can all right you guys thank you so much for watching if you're here to the end thank you so much please comment down below if you like the album if you listen to the album what were your favorite songs my favorite song so far right now my favorite songs would have to be blackbird texas hold'em of course Jolene, Spaghetti. I actually do like the Smoke Hours, if we're being really honest, both one and two. Um, Second Most Wanted, Levi's Jeans, Yaya, um, Desert Eagle, River Dance, uh, Two Hands to Heaven, Tyrant, Seat, Honey Buckling. And those are my faves. What were yours? Please comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I should have another video for you guys very soon. I am working on a podcast episode that should have been out way long ago. But we're still going to post it. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. I don't know when that's going to be. But it's definitely going to be soon. And within the next seven days. Hopefully. Fast. But okay you guys. Bye.